Yo, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Mr. Classic. And we're back. Week 14 was in the books. I gotta say, though. Oh, well, this week was actually... Go I'll there. It's the coach with games. you here today. I'm gonna say this. this. This is one of the better is weeks that I've seen. For this next you know, challenge, you need um, to complete all the challenge games. goals to get the win. Those games. You can view yeah, the goals at any time it. from the pause menu. One thing. Let's send it down to Brandon Godden and Charles what are y'all Davis doing? for the call. Thank you, Coach. There's so for this challenge, no the way that with three the Steelers actually are still without a score. Time you, you know, it just seems like you're in the red zone. It just seems like a crazy thing to think about the fact that the Steelers lost to the Patriots. Yeah, here we are. Bailey Zappi had an amazing game. 240 yards. Three TDs. Ezekiel Elliott had a pretty good game. Ezekiel had four for 90. And it's just like, the Steelers actually, like, the Steelers actually lost. You know, like, you know, you would think that the Steelers being the, the battle team would have, would have been the Patriots, yet, some, somehow, somehow they lost. It, it, maybe, maybe it's the fact that Mr. Trubisky was their quarterback, maybe. Hey folks, or maybe it's the fact that the Patriots defense it's ultimate team. Uh, actually, it like, get sort of kind of stepped up. For this next challenge, you need to complete um, all the challenge goals to get the win. I don't win. know what it was, but the page, I was surprised from the pause menu. that the Patriots actually won the game. Because it feels like it's been forever since I've actually seen them. Coach will the begin this challenge in the third quarter with three minutes remaining. But that's not the point. It just feels weird. So, the, the, the Patriots won. But, hey, good win for them. They got to win on prime time. I don't even know why this game was even on prime time. <laughs> That's what's commonly known see, as quick strike. But, hey, Points what do board. I know? This could be a fun game. Yeah. And just like that, another ultimate challenge. Texans and Jets. Jets absolutely dog. I, I thought this would have been, like, the fake. other way with the Texans absolutely dogging on the Jets. Because the Texans have looked absolutely amazing this year. So, for, so for them to get 30, 30 to 6, like this, it's insane. Zach Wilson, 301 yards, two TDs. This man is actually like showing that he can, you know, so inclusive of being the QB that we thought he could be. Now, obviously, he's probably not going to end up turning into that QB. But if he was to turn hey that, TV, for joining us today. that would I'm be kind of amazing. CJ Stroud, though, has a terrible head of an absolute stinker. He has 10, 23, and 92 yards now, obviously. This is not something hopefully this is just, like, an offense for them. And, like, they can bounce back. But as for a team that I thought, you know, when they start to get hot, for a team that I thought was... Oh snap, they might make it to the playoffs. For a team like that, I hopefully they can bounce back. And even if they do, and I would expect them to when they go um, when they go up against the Titans, which is a very difficult team. So I do expect them to bounce back from this game. But it is very surprising to see that they did lose though to the Jets. And in the fashion that they lost to the Jets and um so great win for the Jets to just look absolutely dominant today. Um I, I can't believe I actually just said hey, that folks, I can't believe coach here. He just welcome back for another exciting matchup in Madden but, Ultimate Team. For this next challenge you need to complete yeah, all the challenge are. goals to get the win. The Jets beat you can play the goals at any time and, uh, from the pause menu. Yeah. Now let's hand it off to Brandon and Charles. Ravens and Rams. This was a great all-around game. This game actually went into overtime. Matthew Stafford had 294 and 3 TDs. Um, Lamar Jackson had 3 TDs. 316 yards and 3 TDs. Um, OBJ had had 4 for 97 in that one long touch, one long touchdown catch. He come at 8 for 115 in a TD. Uh, this was a really great game. Um, two explosive offenses. Um, also, the running game was kind of was really good for the uh, for Rams as well. 
Uh, they had 115 yards, 114 yards from Kyron Williams. He's actually looking really good, so I, I, I hope to see him get better at that. Um, that, that was, it was really great for both teams. Uh, this was, this was obviously, you know, I'm just surprised about, about how this game had ended in the way it ended. Um, it ended on a, uh, punt, on a punt return touchdown, which is something you don't really see that often. Yeah, I would love to see it happen more often, because it's, it's so exciting. And we get to see kick returns all the time. But it's like, with punt returns, I think it's less block, I, I, you everybody. know, there's less blockers, so it's like, you gotta actually you gotta use your wiggle sticks more, but instead of, or pick up, you can get, like, two block, two good blocks, and then you're gone, so for them to win their way, it was kind of insane, because I don't think I've ever seen, um, a punt return touchdown, well, I might have, but I don't remember it, but still, that is cool to have a game in that way. So we move on. The Saints and the Panthers up, and, and the Panthers just continue just up those wins. looking like complete garbage. Um, Derek Carr had one for 19 and two TDs. As a Kamara as well for 66, 50, no 56 and one TD. And Bryce Young had 13 was 13 for 36 and 137 yards. And no TDs. No one on their team was good. Uh, they had two fumbles lost as well. So, that doesn't help either. That doesn't help in the grand scheme of things either when you're like, okay, if you want to actually have a chance of winning the, winning games, you don't want to fumble the ball. And um, I will get more into that later, if you know what I mean. Um, <laughs> uh, and, and Eagles, Eagles. Uh, yeah. So, Saints absolutely beat up on the Panthers. Just like the Bengals beat up on the Colts. And I mean, um... What's his name? Jake Browning had another great game. Um, their whole offense was just clicking. The defense was clicking. Um, this is a really, uh, really great game for Jake Browning. He had 275 yards and two TDs. Jake Brown had three for 80 in the TD. Joe Mixon had 21 for 79 in the TD. They were just clicking on. They were just clicking. Uh, they also got an I in the T and a fumble, and they got three sacks as well. So their defense was just swarming the ball. With three so yeah, minutes to go. that was that, and then we had, uh, the on your own and Baker, Ma line. not Baker Mayfield, uh, Gardner Minshew didn't ten. look too bad as well, he had a TD, but he also had an INT as well, but, uh, but, you know, obviously the Bengals are just better, so we aren't surprised by this outcome. Buccaneers and Falcons, though. This is a really great game, really close game from both teams. He must be about this complete garbage, but, you know, this is actually quite the, the better of the two teams. The Buccaneers and, and the Falcons are the better of the two teams, and uh, something crazy happened back then. Uh, Kyle Pitts scored a touchdown. And Kyle Pitts scored. Jake London had 10 Number seven, 170 yards, yes, and Desmond Ritter had 347 yards. For Baker May and Baker Mayfield on that right hand, he had 144 yards in two teams. Richard White had uh, 25 carries, 103 yards. Two, Chris Godwin had five for one of, not 153. I was gonna say 153, but 153. But yeah, this is a, a great game by both teams. Honestly. Um, Really good, um, really good NFC South battle. Uh, that I mean, I feel like this Navy division battle, these teams are gonna play each other hard. Um, this, in every division battle, the teams are gonna play each other hard. This is one of those cases where both teams play each other very well, and this is a very good team for both teams involved. Browns, Jaguars, so Browns absolutely was, was they got three picks off of um. Off of Trevor Lawrence. So the and then Joe Flacco. Go Joe Flacco was cooking. He had like 247 yards and two TDs. Bro was cooking. Who let Bro cook? Never mind. Yeah, 300 yards and three TDs. I'm looking at the stats right now. This is how they were playing. Uh, yeah, 311 yards and three TDs. And David and Gregory had 6 for 91 TDs. Everything had 11 for 95 and 
Kentucky. So the Titans were absolutely just going off this game. I mean, they combined for 40 overall. So uh, if you're a Titan fan, you'll be off. Um, then we have Bears in mind. I mean, this is one of the bigger upsets. Of, this is one of the bigger upsets. Uh, Bears came into this game four and eight, I believe. Lions were obviously, obviously one of the better teams in the NFC East, and I think I'm gonna say the Lions aren't that good. The Lions, okay, the Lions are, the Lions aren't very good. Jay Goff, one six one yards, one TD, two INT. Jameer Gibbs had a TD. Justin Fields had 23 yards and TD. He also had a rushing touchdown, and and he also DJ Moore got himself a rushing touchdown, his first of his career as well. And um, Bears came in, did their thing, got out of there with the win. Lions, Lions or Lions of frauds? I will say that. Uh, 49 of the Seahawks. Um, Drew Lock, 269 yards, two TDs, two INTs. Bob Purdy missed it. I will check down for five yards and let my let my go to people do the rest of the work. Like I in yet I'm still in the, I'm still in MVP conversation. Uh, he had 368 yards in TPD with one INT. Christian McCaffrey goes over 100 yards again with 16 carries for 145 yards. And Debo Samuel has seven for 149 in a TD. And Kyle uh, Lockett has six for 89. Uh, before we get into this, um, I don't know what kind of injury that uh, that uh, Geno Smith has. Uh, I didn't realize that he was injured until last week, so I hope that his injury isn't serious and he can uh, come back from it. Because he is one of my, he is a really good player, and I hope he can make uh, a really good comeback. Because I hate to see, I hate to see if people, I hate to see people get injured. It doesn't matter who you are. So uh, yeah, PD Curry for him. Congratulations um, yeah. on yet another victory. Um, and you can go right to the next challenge if there's another one available. And return challenges I mean, to receive your reward. We already knew this was going to happen when we saw this on the, on, the, um, on the schedule. So, um, yeah, I'm not surprised by this at all. Anyways. Um, okay, I have to talk about this. I'm not going to say much. So, I don't have to force myself to actually, like, Talk about it. Vikings, Raiders, three to nothing. Three to nothing. You would think this was a baseball. Three to nothing. You would think this was a soccer. Game. Three to nothing. You think this was a hockey game. You think this was any other sport except for bas basketball, and maybe golf. And down the left sideline inside like, the 10 okay. you, 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 you think this is any this is you think this wasn't a, this wasn't football if you're the you go to score oh yeah three to nothing you would think this is a baseball game or a soccer game or a hockey game of all things but a football game <laughs> Moving on. Broncos and Chargers. Chargers. Easton Stick. Uh, Justin Herbert is out for the year. Easton Stick went 13 for 24, 179 yards. Uh, Russell Wilson, we let, who, who let bro cook? Uh, apparently, because he went two for tw 224 yards and two DDs. Cortland Sutton had a um had a crazy had a crazy catch where he caught it with one hand. He brought it in a really long touchdown. It was crazy. Uh, Javante Williams got his first touchdown since like December of like 2021 or something like that, I believe. Well, I think that's what it was. I'm not exactly sure the um like the whole story behind it, but I'm pretty sure that was his first touchdown. And like basically it was the first his first touchdown in a very long time. So uh, however you wanna interpret it that you know, you can interpret it in any way, but basically he scored and it had been a very long time since he had done that. And you know, ooh, they're happy for him. 
that was out of Bills and Chiefs, Battle of Two, NFC, and not NFC, AFC East. Jug, j- not NFC, not AFC East, but a- just AFC juggernaut in general. And um, the Bills were able to pull it out um, because Kadarius Sony was off sides. And people were like, oh, he wasn't on People were trying to dispute that he wasn't on sides. I mean, if you look at the thing, it's clear as day that. This man is offside to the max. I mean, it, it's insane. And it was a crazy play, too. That's the thing. It's a, it was a crazy play. And apparently, Kadarius Tony, not only that, not only was it one time, but apparently, Kadarius Tony had lined up in the neutral zone on four different occasions. That appeared like any routine NFL quarterback, but it was Michael Vick yeah, from the pocket, throws a touchdown. Get ready to learn Chinese. Get ready to learn Canadian. Get ready to learn any other language than the, than the English dialect. Because first, you don't deserve to be a wide receiver. You can't catch. And you can't even line up in the new. You can't even line up on side. My boy, what are you doing? And despite the despite that, Patrick Mahomes still threw for 271 yards in a TD. He also had an INT. And so did Josh Allen. He had 233 yards, one TD, and one INT. Welcome it's just that. It's, it's just the simple fact that they won. The Bills won because you didn't even line the Ben and Lucas on like goals to get the win. you. You absolutely. You absolutely. Buffoon. Like, what are you doing? Coach, like, I don't even you know what compelled you to be like, you know what I'm going to do? You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to absolutely sell my team. I'm going to absolutely sell my team and line up in the neutral zone. I don't know why you decided to do that, but hey, you know, um, we'll never know how what goes through people's brains to make them do certain things unless you actually get their brain studies, and I don't think anyone wants to do that right now. So we're going to move on. We got the Eagles and the Cowboys. Ooh, I've been waiting to talk about this. I've been waiting to talk about this. Cry, Eagles, cry. <laughs> See, this is what happens when the rest aren't on your side, Eagles. This is what happens. <laughs> Karma. Karma is all I got to say. Hey everybody, thanks for joining us today. I'm MVP the coach. Hey, this is Matt. MVP Prescott. Team. For this next challenge, you need to complete all the challenges to get to the win. Has had a pretty good game. He had 18 of 297 yards. To finish this out, here's Brandon Allen and Charles Davis. The only reason so why he scored a GD is because of a fumble. And with three minutes to that's go. the one thing that I want to touch on about this game. Fumbles. Fumbles were the name the of the game. Fumbles were the name of the game. The Eagles, at least. Because they just could not hold on to the ball. For the life of them. They felt like on every single offensive drive, they didn't end in, 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 in a punt. They didn't end in, in a field goal. It was going to end in a fumble. Or if it didn't end on the turnover and down, it was going to end up. It was going to end up in a uh, in a turn in a uh, fumble. And that's exactly what happened, really. Um, Cowboys absolutely dominated their division rivals, and now Hello, the Cowboys. We are on top of the NFC East. You know, you maybe, maybe, maybe tell A.J. Brown, maybe next time, A.J. Brown, don't call someone old, um, because that, what a goal, old dude, is that, he owns you, that's your daddy, pay your respects, pay your respects, fool, learn some respect, respect your elders, learn some respect, and maybe you won't get and maybe you won't get locked up next year. Maybe you won't get locked up next time. 
One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes. Absolutely insane. And, and, and you know, Eagles came in all confident. You know, Eagles fans came in all confident. Like, oh, we lost to the 49 It's all good. We're gonna beat the Cowboys only to get absolutely smacked. We we we, we own y'all. We own y'all. And this is the same thing that would have happened had we had the. The refs not helps y'all out that, that other game team. in the lane. The we know that for a fact run. too. We know that for a fact, but we're not gonna talk about that. So I'm gonna just enjoy it. The Cowboys just pick like up that, the win. 33, 13. The victory, if only for a moment, you know now we got the Giants. Right ooh, ooh, the I'm actually gonna tackle these two at the same time. We have the Giants and the Packers, and the Titans and the Dolphins. I will say this, Will Levis was an absolute monster, two TDs in less than a minute, I've, 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 that is the equivalent of Tracy McGrady scoring those 13, scoring those 33 points in 13 seconds, it's absolutely insane, um, Tommy DeVito absolutely went off, he, they, uh, the Giants have won, have now won three straight, and they just beat uh, a Packers team that had just gotten done being the Chiefs. And that is insane to think about. That the Giants beat the Packers. We had just been, we had just been teams. Um, yeah, this is really great games from both teams. Uh, for all four teams, actually. Tommy DeVito had 158 yards in the TD. Yeah, I love that screen. He actually had a really good game as well. Uh, Jordan Love was absolutely, was absolutely throwing dimes out there, I will say that. So, good round. Um, yeah. Uh, and then Saquon Barkley, though, he had a, a really great game. He had two TDs as well. Um, he had 20 carries for 86 yards and two TDs. Now for the, uh, now for the Titans, Will Levis went off. He had an amazing game. And Tua was all right, to say the least. I guess he, he could have been. He, he could have been better, I guess. They'll break the come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. So, uh, yeah. Will Levis had 327 yards and one TD. Tua had 223 for 33 for 240 yards yeah, and no TDs. And um, that's complete to Sanders. Yeah, but no, this is a very great game from both teams. Right the uh, Derrick Henry though had 22 for 34 two TDs, but he mostly though went off. Yeah, 21 for 96 for TDs. And, 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 and the leading receivers for both teams were Cam Hopkins with having. The and chest run, 124 and yards and a TD. And for the Dolphins, it is Jerry Wall for 6 for 79. Uh, like I said again, this is a very good week for all teams. Hopefully, and I, I love how it's how there are there are. I, I just wish I'm not I'm not saying that I wish all games were close, but it's like I love how it's not helping as much. To be honest, like I feel like. Like, obviously, these teams are getting better, so obviously, it's not going to happen as much as it used to. And I appreciate that because now we might get to see great games on the daily basis, and this is what happened. And, you know, I will say this I think the NFL is scripted, so hey, script writers, good job. Give it to me. And for me, and for me, that is all. It is instant classic. Sign it out. Hey.